right if it's less than 90 it's called an acute angle if it's more than 90 it's a pure obtused angle. Any question about the slide? This is just definition of a uh, slide, so this is easy, no? Yeah. Um, if two angles can be added up to a 90 degree, we call them complementary. If they add up to make a straight line or a 180 degree, we call them supplementary. This is a from I believe secondary school or school or some some of you had it in, in the elementary school. Okay. Here we go. Now for two lines, if the two lines are parallel and one line that intersects them, these two pair of lines, we're gonna form some type of angles. Um, an angle we call them alternated interior, like two and two. We call them alternated interior. They are equal if the two lines are parallel. So, so, so the thing we have to check is this: the two lines are parallel. So, yes, the alternated interior are equivalent. The alternated exterior, for example, one and one, they are also equal. Are we good? Are we good with this one? Yeah. Let me know, you guys, before I move on. Mm -hmm. uh, vertical angles, you guys have seen this one before. The vertical angles, it's um, like this. This should be. So if this is A, this is A, and they are equal. We call them vertical angles, okay? Now, here is a problem here. This is doable. I know you guys can do this problem. I'll give you 30 seconds. Oh, it's okay, and it says it's B. Yes, this is doable, yes? Okay, now I know you guys, you love to do algebra. I believe you guys, you have form an equation and you have solve. Okay. Okay, but do you recall like the first session when I said, I'll try to do problem without using algebra as possible. Do you, do you recall this one without using algebra? So pay attention. This is the first angle. These three angles can be at to 90, so they can be divided to ratios one, two, three. So these angles are in ratio one to two to three. So I need, to find x so x has ratio one so this is going to be one over the sum of ratios times the whole thing which is 90 okay so the problem here is going to be one over six times 90 degrees so the answer is going to be 15 degrees are we good Okay, I know you guys, you love to do algebra, but I love to use, uh, I, I try to keep algebra away. Because the sum of these three angles is 90 degree. So this is the whole thing. Do you recall the formula we had before, which is A over A plus B plus C times the whole thing? We just talked at the beginning of today session. So yes, here is another example. For this one here, I know you guys are going to form algebra, but I need to find the measurement of C. This is C. For me, I know the angles are, are in ratio 12 to 13 to five. Yes, so C has Ratio 5 over the sum of ratios times the sum, which is 180. Because the sum of all angles is 180. So this is going to be 5 uh, over 30 
times 180. When we simplify, when we simplify, this is going to be 1 and this is going to be 6. So the answer is going to be 5 times 6, which is 30, and we're done. Mr. I have a question. Uh huh. Do you recommend in the exam we uh, we don't use algebra in the geometry? No. I'm not recommending. I'm teaching you another skill, and you have to learn it. If you see and you decide that using algebra is going to be easy for you and more comfortable, then it's your call because you're the one who's going to do the test. But I'm giving you an advice which is faster and easier and more clean to do. Okay? Okay, so thank you. The more you practice, the better you're going to be. Okay? Then you can tell. I think we're good. Um, is it always, Yosef, we, we can use algebra? No, it's not always. Like for this problem here, sorry, using like ratios, no. For this problem here, a specific one, I can't use ratios because I don't know what's this in ratio. So for this problem here, I have to use algebra. So I know 2x plus 3x plus 60 is, has to be 180, isn't it? Isn't it? So for this problem, I have to use algebra. Yes? Uh-huh. But it's, it's not in your booklet. There we go. Now, it's uh, what's the average of all angles? I know that the average is the sum over the count. Can you guys, Yamin or anyone else, can you guys tell me what's the sum of all these angles? What's the sum? 360. 360. Do you see how simple it is? And how what's the count? 10. Because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the average is 36 degrees. It's an easy and simple problem. But since they put it in geometry, it was hard. But it's a, just a simple problem. Do you see it? I know some of you guys, you would see and they think there is too much going on. It's hard because it's geometry. It's an easy one. There we go. Let's just have fun. There we go. Triangles. Which of the following could be the length of sides of a triangle? So what's the idea for sides to form a triangle? The idea is this. The sum, it's in page 34, in the top, page 34. If you add any two sides, it's going to be greater than the third. This is the idea. Take any two sides, add them, it has to be greater than the third. If this is true, then these three sides can form a triangle. So, is one plus three greater than five for A? Is this is a true A? No, then A is wrong. Is two plus three greater than four? Yes, then this is the answer. If you want to double check, is a three plus six greater than nine? No, it's equal to nine, so this is wrong. Okay? Is it 12 plus 13 greater than 26? Are we good? So this is the idea. The sum of the length of any two sides has to be greater than the third. Yes, yes, yeah. You, you're not supposed to double check, but I, like I'm teaching now, so I have just to make sure that um, I leave nothing for a question, okay? Here we go. Two sides of a triangle are five and nine. Which of the following could be the length of the third? So this is, they give you two sides and they ask you about the third. Yeah? Okay, I've seen C, D, C, D. Okay, so what's the idea? The idea is this. The third side, it has to be greater than the difference, less than the sum. So this is the sum. 
this is the difference. So I have two side, which is nine and five, nine and five. The third side, if I name it X, X has to be greater than the difference, less than the sum. So the third side has to be greater than four, less than 14. So the answer is what? What's the answer? Nine, there is only one choice. It has to be less than 14. So 14, it's not accepted. It has to be greater than four. So four, it's not accepted. Okay. Okay, you guys. So this is the idea. The third side, uh, yes, Lama? Didn't you say that the third side is bigger than the two plus each other? Less. When we've done this one, it says yeah. when we, if we add any two sides, the third has to be, the two sides has to be greater than the third, yes? Oh, okay, okay. So Sorry. the opposite, the third has to be less than the sum, yes? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Comparison question. I have to compare AB This is AB. I have to compare it with BC. Yes. So what's the idea to compare these two sides? The idea is this. The idea is the longest side is opposite to the largest angle. The shortest side is opposite to the smallest angle. Okay. So I know this is 90. This is 40, so what's the measurement of C? 50. So which one is greater? The opposite to 40 or opposite to 50? This is opposite to 50. Yes, and this is opposite to, oh, sorry. And this is opposite to 40, yes? So the one is greater than one which is opposite to 50 because longest is opposite to largest. So the answer is AB. A. Do you see how simple the problem is? If you know this fact, this is too simple. All the information is given. Let me know what you think. Is it one or two? Okay, good, good, good. Last problem for tonight. Here we go. Compare areas. What do you think, you guys? 30 seconds and we'll talk about this one. Ahmed, Ahmed, Yamin. Muhammad, no, no, no. Do you think they just give you an, an obvious problem like this one? The answer is C and you move on. No way. No way. Okay, hey, here we go. Um, Yamin or Ali Fuad or anyone who typed C, can you just talk to me? Anyone? Go ahead, Ali. Don't, don't be shy. You no. open your mind. Ali. It's because I'm so, sick of my voice. Is... Mm. No, no, it's okay. Um. The area of B is nine times four. Are we do uh, are we good? Yeah. Now, if you want to calculate the area of A, you have to have a, a perpendicular height here. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is H. So the area of A, this is nine, yeah? Yeah. So the area here is gonna be nine times H. Do you agree in this one? Mm -hmm. So if I found H, I can compare A and B. Yeah. Let me take the triangle here in the top, which is uh, this one. This is four, and this is H. This is right. Now, where is the largest angle in this triangle? Uh, the four. 
the right, right angle, sorry, the right angle, angle, yeah? angle right. Okay, yeah. so if you want to compare H with four, which one is greater? Uh, it's uh, it's four because it's four. Yeah, yeah, because four is opposite to the largest. To the largest angle, uh, angle right. yeah. So you're you're telling me this this is less than nine times four, yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. So the answer is B. B. That's it. Thank you, Ali. No problem. Mm -hmm. Guys, let me know. This is last one for tonight, and let me know. Do you guys see what's going on? Do you guys see the trick? Yes or no? If no, just type two so I can talk. I mean, last minute. Yeah, so the idea was the largest angle is opposite to the longest side. Since 4 is opposite to 90 degree, Tala, Tala, hello? Yeah. Tala, um, do you recall this when we talked that the um, the longest side is opposite to the largest angle? Yeah. Yeah. So in this triangle here, where is the, the largest angle? Is it just the 90 degree? This is 90. Yeah, 90 is the largest angle. So 4 has to be the longest side, isn't it? Yeah. So 4 is greater than H, which is the height. Do you agree? Yeah. But the area of A is 9 times 4, times H. Yeah? Yeah. Which is less than 9 times? 4. Because H is less than? Um, do you agree? 4. Yeah. Did you agree in this one here? Do you agree yeah. in this one? Yeah. But what's the area of B? 9 times 4. So can you compare A and B? So B is larger, right? Yes. In area, yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, now it's 7 p.m. Session is dismissed. If you still get a question, you can stay. I'll pause the recording and have a good night. See you tomorrow.